G'day everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crafted by Tim. Today we're going to be making a uh, sheath for a chef's knife. Um, these are great for uh, if you have to transport your knife, if, if you're a chef, um, for your local business, but you use your own knives or you take home your knives, then this is a good way of bringing them back and forth. And well, as well as protecting the blades, you're protecting yourself um, from you know, reaching into your bag and stabbing yourself. So, for this we're going to need a chef knife. This one will do. So this is a Japanese uh, chef's knife. I don't know who it's made by, but it's a uh, handcrafted in Japan classic chef's 8 inch. Um, and it's made from Damascus really nice knife with an ebony handle. I've decided that now would probably be a good time to uh, make a uh, nice sheath for it. So let me show you how it's done. Okay so for the particular method that I have in mind what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to lay down the knife about where I want it to um, sit and I'm making sure that the spine of the knife, the back end, is uh, flush, or as flush as possible, as this being, uh, as this has a curved back with the um, the back of this piece of wood here. I'm using um, some Tasmanian oak. And I've also got some jarrah uh, here. Okay, you can't see that at all. So the next part is, well now we're going to use the only tool that we actually need for this project, which is the table saw. Okay, so now I'm going to take my template here, and I'm going to use the template as sort of a, a guide for how tall this, uh, I'm going to drop this blade to. Now set it to half, half the depth of my block of wood. Now, if you wanted to, what you could do is you could take, um, so we just cut this section off. If you wanted to, you could take this and put it on the back like so, and then glue it up that way, and that would hide the um, the join. And then, of course, you can just cut it down to whatever thickness that you want. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is just in case the join is still going to be visible uh, I'm going to be using this uh, section of jar instead um, but because the jar is a different size I'm going to rip it down to the same size and I'm just going to glue it down uh, glue it on uh, I'm going to chew up these edges with the drop saw but of course you can use a hand saw for that
Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button, and if you are new here, please subscribe, um, as that helps me out. Anyway, I'll catch you next week. Cheers.